Hello everyone, this is Lady Alchemist and for today's video lesson, we're going to discuss how to name alkanes. So let's get started. Our objective for today's video lesson is to define alkanes and identify the rules in naming alkanes. Let's recall the four ways of depicting propane. The first example is the Lewis structure using the dot structural formula. Then you have the structural formula or also known as the expanded structural formula the next one is the line diagram and the last is the condensed structural formula now we're going to discuss alkanes as saturated hydrocarbons alkanes are hydrocarbons that contain only single bond it is saturated hydrocarbons and we use the suffix a and e for alkane Due to the increasing number of organic compounds, it is necessary to work out a way of naming these compounds. In 1957, the International Union of Pure Applied Chemistry came up with a systematic way of naming organic compounds. It is known as the IUPAC system of nomenclature. The systematic names of organic compounds consist of three main parts, the prefix, the stem, and suffix. The stem indicates the number of carbons in the backbone or parent chain of the compound. The parent chain is the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms. Side chains are attached to the parent chain. An alkyl group is a side chain that is followed by removing a hydrogen atom from an alkane. It is named by attaching an YL to the stem. For example, a side chain with one carbon is named as methyl, while that with three carbons is propyl. Now, here are the rules in naming alkanes. Number one is to choose the longest continuous chain. Add the following suffixes to the stem of the name. A-N-E for alkane, E-N-E for alkene, and Y-N-E for alkyne. Number the carbon atom in the parent chain beginning with the end of the chain that is nearest to a side chain or substituent, double or triple band. Name and give the location of the side chain or the substituent. When two or more side chains are present, list them in alphabetical order. Use the prefixes di, tri, tetra and indicate the numbers. Separate the numbers with a comma. For double band or triple band, also indicate the numbers and use di, tri, tetra, etc. if more than one of them appears in the formula. Remember to use the stem for the different backbones of hydrocarbons. So for carbon 1, we use meth, and carbon 2 is et, carbon 3 is pro, carbon 4 but, carbon 5 pen, carbon 6 hex, 7 carbon is hep, 8 is oct, 9 is non and 10 carbon is de. Now here is your example number 1. The parent chain is chosen and the carbon atoms are numbered as you can see in your sample. Now let's uh, find the longest continuous chain. So that's, that is your rule number 1 is to choose the longest continuous chain or choose the longest carbon chain. Now let's box the longest continuous chain. So here is your longest continuous chain. So the number of carbon is 7. So the parent chain has 7 carbon atoms, therefore the stem is hep, since you have 7 carbon atoms. The side chains are 2 methyl group. So let's find out the substituent. So this is your methyl group, the lawa, or 2. Since only single bands are present in the compound, it is an alkane. And how to name? Okay, the name is 3,4-dimethylheptane since a uh, methyl and it appears in the third carbon and fourth carbon atom. So you have 3,4-dimethylheptane. Take note that writing the correct uh, formula, uh, you're going to use the comma and a dash and then dimethyl and there's no uh, space now let's try to use a line diagram or the skeletal diagram to uh, represent the carbon atom now take note that each side of the line diagram contains carbon atoms so you have 
carbon 1, carbon 2, carbon 3, 4, and 5. Now, using the table, uh, the longest continuous chain is pent. So, you have the base name will be pent. And since it is single bond, it is pentane. And you have to identify the substituent. So our substituent is methyl under alkyl group. And it appears on carbon 2. So your name is 2-methyl pentane. Since uh, in your carbon 2 appears the substituent, which is methyl, and the longest continuous chain is carbon 5, or there is five carbon atom. The stem or the stem name would be pent and since it is under alkane and it is a single bond, it is pentane. So the correct formula or the correct name rather is 2-methylpentane. Now it's your turn to answer your activity number one. The direction of your activity is to name the following alkane. So I'm giving you two minutes to answer your activity. Did you get it right? I hope so. So let's check. For your answer number one, number one is propane. Since you only have three carbon atom and there is no substituent in your sample. How about number two? The answer is 2-methylhexane. Since you have six carbon atom and your longest carbon atom is six and uh, the stem name is hex and the ending is ANE. The substituent appears on the second carbon atom. So the substituent is methyl. So your final answer is 2-methylhexane. The direction of your activity number 2 is to write the condensed structural formula of the following alkane and box the longest carbon chain. Number 1 is 2-methylhexane, number 2, 2,3-dimethylheptane, and number 3, 3,5-dimethyloctane. Now I hope you uh, get it right. So our answer number 1 and you have number 2 and number 3. There you have it. I hope you learned something new today about naming alkanes. So I'll see you on my next video. Bye!